my whole career I played outside. You know, I've, I've uh, practiced outside. Even when I was back in Austin, Texas, I was practicing outside. So for me, it's it's just another day. You go out there and can't let it get in the way of uh, getting better. Can't let it get in the way of the work. So uh, it's just another day. Is it like dealing the elements, those kind of things help you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it it's realistic. You know, we're not going to be playing inside ever again. You know, so at the end of the day, we need to have we need to have those practices. We need to have the elements out there and. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, that's, that's real football. I asked Pat P. yesterday about the 179 yards rushing for the Chargers. Are you concerned at all right now? No, I, like I said, it's it's week one preseason, man. We're we're learning. We're taking the steps. We're That's what this, this preseason is about. Nobody's hitting the panic mode button. Nobody's worried. Um, you know, we understand we've got to get it fixed. Uh, but, you know, that's the challenge that, that we all have to face. And so... Um, at the end of the day, nobody's nobody's worried. We're, we're taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. How much of that is going against this offense, where it's four wide, five wide all the time? Yeah, and you know we gotta we gotta make sure that, that we're doing everything we can to you know replicate some of the stuff we're gonna be seeing during the season. Um, but you know that's that's no excuse for a team to run on us. A lot of a lot of that is just attitude and, and want to. So we gotta we gotta have you know obviously the right fits, but we also gotta be physical. Once talked about eighty-seven yards went to Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, too. yeah, it's, that's and you know it's tough when you don't game plan. It's tough when you're you're out there trying to uh, you know see guys compete one on one. You know being in man coverage and you're losing eyes. I mean it's it's. It's, it's going to happen during during the preseason. You want to see guys perform uh, and win their one-on-one -on -one battles. So you're not necessarily game planning against the team. I think we would have been in probably some different calls against Tyrod if we were game planning. So nobody's worried. Nobody's hitting the field, but We're fine. What are more ways you can simulate playing against tradi traditional offenses or things you'll see from other teams? How do yeah. you guys replicate that? Well, it's you know there's there's, there's a lot of different ways. This this, this league is. A lot of walkthrough base. You know, you gotta you gotta walk through. You gotta be able to learn and focus in when you walk through. But then it's also a matter of you know when we're scouting and we're, we're game planning for a team, we're gonna have those those looks. You know what I mean? So that's what's that's what's unique. And I know people lose sight about in the preseason that you know oh they're they're getting run on. But you know we're not we're not game planning these guys and. Um, we're really, it's not, we're not worried about the other teams, we're worried about ourselves, we're worried about making sure we know the defense, making sure we understand where to fit, and uh, so, yeah. Marcus had missed the last couple practices, but it looked like he was up there at the beginning. Is he okay, or is it just a question of make, you know, making sure he's got the right number of reps? He is, yeah. He's a veteran, and um, we want to make sure he's healthy and feeling good for the game, and um, so he's back, and he'll be full go. Good, good. Second one, and um, just change the scenery, change up the schedule a little bit. Um, you know, getting used to the hot, the heat, the sun, and uh, I thought they bounced around pretty good. We talked about Chris Jones before, but what kind of progress has he made over since you came on? Since I've watched him, he's flashed even in the spring. Um, you know, big physical, workmanlike, um, approaches his craft the right way, and. You like to see that, so he's gotten better and better, and um, excited to watch him play these next three weeks. How do you think Kyler did today? Uh, I think it was up and down. Um, you know, we, we did a little bit looser, kind of a call it format, and uh, you know, had some ups, had some downs, but um, you know, I thought he operated fine. Does he get frustrated when things don't happen the way he wants? The success that he'd like to see. Out he's yeah, he's a perfectionist, just like a lot of those guys. Um, but it's good. It's it's a humbling game. It's not always going to go your way. There's a lot of factors that go into it, and um, so every now and then, if you don't have your best day, um, you know you learn from it. You get better. When you say heat of the way, maybe just to kind of test them when conditions aren't perfect. See how they respond. The heat. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's a good changeup. Um, you know, it, it is pretty extreme out there um, for those guys, but I thought they handled it well, and um, just it is good to get out there every now and then. Really started when I got here, I and mean, he was at every single day of everything since I've been here, and uh, he continues to impress in that way. Um, great leader, great work ethic, great attitude, always upbeat. So he brings a lot to our locker room, and, and then obviously he's he's a pretty dominant force on the field. He's been involved in the since 2015, despite being in a variety of different systems that came in different positions. What does it show you about him? I think just that he's relentless. Um, regardless of what he's asked to do, he's going to do it full speed all the time. 
um, really works at his craft, craft, really pushes through. You can tell when he's tired, he keeps coming, and, and uh, he's just got that that extra that makes makes those special pass rushers. You mentioned the other day Isabella was making good strides before he got hurt. What kind of progress has he made since the beginning of camp, and did he get, was there a setback because he missed those practices? I think anytime you're a young player and, and you miss a week and a half or so, um, there's going to be some catching up to do, and that's where he's at. I mean, we know he's dynamic with his speed, and um, when the ball's in his hands, and, and we just got to get him back in, in the groove. If he proves worthy of playing, is it a challenge at all for you with Christian Larry and him to try to get them on the field together? Not really. I mean, it's a luxury. You know, we'll, we'll find ways to, to make sure we're maximizing each guy that, that's on this roster. Do you still think you're going to keep seven receivers? I'm not sure. You know, I, I think six, seven, somewhere in there. I think it depends how how guys perform the last three weeks and, and then what, what they can do in other areas. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. How are these missed practices and, and the injury affecting Kevin White's status? You know, it's it's a tough break for Kevin. Um, we felt like he was doing some good things, and uh, we just like to see him back out there performing and you know, giving himself a chance to, to compete and, and make the roster. Did you notice AQ's drive pretty early coming back from the injury? Could you tell that he was pushing for that starting spot? Yeah, same deal. Um, as far as as soon as I got here, he was one of the first people I met. I mean, he was in that training room rehabbing every single day. I don't think he took a vacation. He was up there every single day that I, I saw him. And um, so you could tell he was hungry, came back, you know, more fit, better shape than he's ever been. And, and it's it's been on display out here during during camp. Look, the other day, Chase Edmonds says he knows every receiver position. Just how impressive is that for a running back and how good of a receiver is he? He's done a nice job. I think it just shows his football IQ and, and really his desire to be a really good player. I think he, he wanted to prove that, hey, whatever you ask me to do, I can do it. I can do it at a high level. And, and he's done that wherever we put him. Um, he's excelled in camp so far. Where are you at health-wise as a team? Uh, about where everybody else is, I'd say. You got your nicks and bruises this time of year. And, um, you know, that's just football.